Welcome back to this uh, channel. Let's continue with our full uh, tutorial in AutoCAD for mechanical engineering. This is lesson number seven. We'll continue to talk about the uh, modify commands. Start with uh, the trim. So we activate the trim. Once we activate it, we need just to type enter in our keyboard. This means that uh, all the drawing is considered to be the object. Now we can trimming. So that's the first option. The second option, we we'll just go back here. I activate the command, in this case trim, and then select the object will be the first one. And then I type enter. Now I can trim. I will just trim all the lines that across the objects I have selected. In this case, this one is not possible. You can see here. This one also. This one is possible because across is across the objects. So I will just trim here. And this one is not possible. So that's the second option that we have to, to use the trim command. The second command is the extend. We we'll just go there, the opposite of uh, the trim, activate the command, and then type enter in my keyboard. Now I can extend. Note that to extend, I need to click next to where I want to extend. If I click like in the middle or at the end, you can see that nothing happened. Must be close where I want to extend. That's the way. Here, nothing happened, but close, extends. So that's the way we use this command. And second option, like the same as uh, the trim, we type the command and then we select the object. We'll just click this second one, then type enter. Now it can extend. So we'll like extend. You can see that, you know, it passed first this one. That's why you see it can uh, extend. And also here. I can extend. The second command that we won't talk is uh, the fillet. So the fillet, once we activate the fillet, so we have here some option. We have the pull line, radius, trims, and the multiple. How can we use all of them? The first one is uh, the radius. So to specify the radius, we just put uh, six, then type enter. Now I can go there and then make my fillet. First object, second one. See that when I I use the command, automatically it deactivated. If you want to keep like activated until I finish the fillet, I'll just so the red right now is uh, you can see six. So just maintain six there. We'll have to activate the multiple. In this case, I can uh, continue making my fillets and the command will not deactivate. So we also have another option here that says when I activate says trim. What does it mean? So click there. If I put like no trim mean that uh, I will uh, uh, activate the command without trimming. So that's what's happened. You can see here we just go there again, so no trim, no trim, and multiple to continue, and then first, second. You can see that I put the fillets, but does not trim. If I, I go there again to the trim and then put trim, now it will disappear. So that's the way we use the fillets command. We have uh, another uh, option that is a uh, uh, trim. So when I click here, it says pull line. So must be pull line. So this uh, command here, this command, as uh, you can see, is not uh, a pull line. Why do we say that? Because when I click in uh, part of the drawing, just this line is selected. I mean that the line are separated. You can see they are separated. That's why I have to, to give 
for click to select all the objects. But here, if I click just in one side, all oh, the object is selected. This means that this is a pull line and this one is not a pull line. So let's uh, go there again. We just uh, type, we have the radio. In this case is uh, uh, put eight. And then not what happened if I click in the pull line. Now I came here, select. You see what it says? It says object select is not a 2D pull line. But what happened if I come to this one, which is a pull line? I click just. You see what happened? It is a pull line. This one is a pull line and this one is not a pull line. So that's the option we have to consider when you use a fillet. The next one is a chamber, chamfer. So the chamfer, the same thing, but the, the difference here is just uh, we use uh, a distance instead of the fillet, or I mean radius. If uh, I click here in the, the distance, I will just uh, put the, the two distance. The first one, I will just put six, enter. Second one also six, enter. Now I can go there and then use the chamfer. So also again, the command will be activated to keep click multiple and all the options we 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 saw in uh, the fillet also we find here so that's that's the way we also have uh, in this chamfer we also have the angle right if we we, we click the angle we just put like the angle here i will put first one 10 and second one 30 and then enter, we just go to the pull line to use this pull line here. You see, that's the one we use. So the same thing with the fillet and the chamfer. So uh, we'll uh, stop here in uh, this part two for the humidify command. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe as we have uh, 50 uh, videos in uh, this full tutorial. And I see you to the next uh, lesson, lesson number seven, uh, eight and we'll continue talking about the modify command. See you until then.